So which problem, please? Anything? I, have, I, I lost my second two pages. Can you oh. write the, the rules for the turns, like for the sequences? Sure, which one is there? Which one is this problem? Just for 39, just like write okay. the rules again. Let me just have this here. So it says 39, name the type of series and find the next sum of 5, 10, 20, and four. I'm sorry, not the next sum, but find the next term, all right? So we have 5, 10, 20, and then 40. All right, so what they're asking us to do is to find the next term and then determine is it arithmetic or geometric. So when Austin, when we did our notes last class period, we talked about two sequences. Geometric and arithmetic. Okay, remember if we have terms in a sequence, to determine which one is which, if it's arithmetic, that means it has a common difference. Has a common difference. If it's geometric, it has a common ratio. All right, so let's go and see do these have a common difference? So, what I'm going to do, arithmetic, we do a1 minus a1 has to equal a sub 3 minus a sub 2. And geometric, if it was geometric, then we do the division of our two terms. Two consecutive terms would have to equal. So, this is going to equal what we call a, num or a number d, which we call our difference. And this has to equal a common ratio, which we call r. So let's go and take a look at, and let's go and see. So if I do 10 minus 5, that has to equal 20 minus 10. Well, that's 5 does not equal 10. So therefore, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Now let's go to the next one. 10 over 5, is that equal to 20 over 10? Which, yes, it is. That equals r, which is 2. So therefore, this is a geometric sequence. All right. Now the next thing is we need to determine the next term. So what? OK. So you guys can look at this and see what is happening with these next terms. Well, you could say 5 to 10 to 20 to 40. So you can see they're doubling. So yes, the next term we could kind of just conclude would be 40 or 80. Yep. Well, the next term, yes. OK, cool.